first governor to include an LGBT organization in the inaugural parade. He is the first governor to include gay and transgender state employees in Executive Order 1 covering non-discrimination. He is not only the first governor to proclaim June as Pride Month and attend our prides, but he is the first governor to open the doors to the Executive, Man executive Mansion exclusively to the LGBT community. And just this past January, he signed Executive Order 61 protecting LGBT Virginians from discrimination in state services and as employees for state contractors. And last, but certainly not least, he has stood steadfast as our last line of defense against any bill targeting LGBT people. And he has used that veto pen twice to protect our community. Please join me in welcoming to the stage a great friend, a great friend of our community, the 72nd Governor of Virginia, Governor Terry McCullough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I love you! Folks, please be seated later, and this will be the last time as your governor that I will address this group in this capacity. I may be back in another capacity, but in this capacity, I just want to say thank you first of all, because I would not be standing here today were it not for you. You worked your heart and souls out for our campaign, you knocked on the doors, you made the phone calls. And I just want you to know that now we are four years later, I want you to say I honored my commitment to you. We are a new commonwealth. We are a beacon for open, openness and diversity. And in fact, I don't know where he is, but the head of the LGBT community in North Carolina is here with us tonight. Where is he? and give this man a round of applause for what he has had to deal with in North Carolina. And do not wish you I would be a brick wall to protect women's rights and those decisions should be made between a doctor in front of the bench and I stood with Ralph and Mark. We're not going to tolerate defunding of Planned Parenthood. That has been our mission. That Ralph and Mark and I, we're going to be open and welcoming. We will be brick wall to protect people's rights because you can't grow an economy. And look at the results. When we took office, unemployment was 5-4. I announced on Friday it's down to 3-9, the lowest in nine years. We've created 200,000 new jobs. Take that, North Carolina. Thank you for this award tonight. We have been a brick wall. And I'm proud, and James has been with me every step of the way. I have not been afraid to lean in on the things that I think are important. I love a good fight. You punch me, I'm going to punch you back twice as hard. Because there are people who are counting on us to fight for them, who tonight don't have access to a great meal like this. And how about Medicaid expansion? We have forfeited. We have forfeited $10.4 billion to help 400,000 Virginians get health care. We've paid for it. We can bring it back without one single obligation to the state. This is morally corrupt that we're not bringing this money back and helping our citizens. Finally, as you know, I had a little record the other day. I don't enjoy vetoing all these bills. I told the legislature during my State of the Commonwealth, do not send me bills 
that discriminate against members of the LGBT community. Do not send me bills that hurt women. Do not send me bills that hurt our environment. And do not send me bills that put more guns on our streets. If you do it, I will veto them. I am at 111 vetoes, the most of any governor in the history of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And Wednesday, our legislators are coming back. And on Wednesday, I will be undefeated 111 and zero. They will not override any of our vetoes, folks. The last thing I'm going to say, we need your help. If we do not have a governor, these bills pass and come to my desk. This is not hypothetical. They pass. There's only one backstop, that's the governor. And we have been a team, Ralph and I and Mark, we have been a team. There has not been an ounce of difference between us and what we need to do. Folks, let's keep this train running down those tracks, baby. This is the Commonwealth of Virginia. You live in the greatest state and the greatest nation on earth. Thank you and God bless all of you.